So I recently purchased one of these Elenco transistor kits um, in addition to uh, some of these Joe Knows Electronics component kits. So uh, initially I wanted to do a review of the Elenco transistor kit, but soon that idea evolved into a full discussion of all of these uh, component kits available on the market. Because in my opinion, uh, component kits are actually quite an important part of the electronics market. Because if you have a beginner who wants to get into the into the hobby, um, they're not going to know like, what components to get or what uh, what values to get them in, what values are most commonly used. Heck, they they prob they might not know what a transistor, a transistor is. So um, they're going to turn to these kits, most likely. And uh, so it's very important to have some well-designed component kits on the market so that it, you can make the uh, lives of these beginners much easier. And from what I've seen, uh, there are actually uh, very few well-designed, thoughtfully designed uh, transistor kits thoughtfully uh, aimed at beginners. So uh, I thought I'd uh, talk about a couple of them. So in front of you, you have the Elenco transistor kit, the uh, Jonas Electronics capacitor kit, and the SparkFun resistor kit. And uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, some of these. I'll be going over these in uh, order from in order of the categories from resistors to capacitors onward to uh, semiconductors. Um, so let's get to it. So st to start off, let's talk about the resistor kits. First of all, we have the Jonos Electronics resistor kit. This is the half watt version, and uh, I will say up front that I did make a mistake in purchasing the half watt resistor kits. I probably should have gone for the quarter watt, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and this is one of the things, ironically, even though uh, I would ima you would imagine semiconductor kits where there's a far greater amount of variety in the components, uh, it would be a uh, bigger sorts of controversy. But actually, the, the, um, the kit that I am the most passionate about is actually um, these resistor kits because it, it's such a simple idea to create, it's such a simple task to create a, an ideal resistor kit and so far I have not seen a single manufacturer uh, get it right. Uh, it's quite infuriating actually. So we have the uh, half watt resistor kit and um, as you see in, inside here, it's actually empty. I've actually uh, moved these to my own bin. So uh, there's that. In addition, we have the uh, Elenco. Elenco also provides a uh, resistor kit, actually two, um, like like the uh, Jonos Electronics uh, component kits. There's a half watt version and a quarter watt, watt version. I actually did buy the uh, resistor kit myself because I didn't think it would be worth my money, to be honest, and I'll get into that in a moment. And finally, I have, this is my first resistor kit, the SparkFun kit, um, from SparkFun, obviously, although you can purchase it from Amazon. Um, and this was actually uh, from one of my first purchases from SparkFun, which is uh, one of the largest, um, and uh, it's a pretty good supplier, in fact, uh, supplies of electronics. Um, so, uh, let's go over packaging first. Let's talk about the Elenco transistor kit. Um, now, let's just imagine that this transistor kit is uh, representative of their resistor kit, because uh, I, I would imagine it, it would be. Uh, it's very well designed, it's um, not very colorful, but it has uh, plenty of you know, inf useful information up here, and um, it's very... Uh, well, it's um, if you open it up, it's like this nice tray here. Um, so overall, I'd say that all of the, I guess that all of the Elenco uh, component kits are uh, pretty well designed in terms of packaging. So uh, moving on to the Jonos Electronics kits, uh, they are packaged in just these plain white boxes, and. Um, they are kind of battered from shipping. This is one. This is the best one. Uh, all, both of the others I got were uh, in much, in much worse condition than this. Um, but it's uh, it's still functional. You have the most important uh, 
information list up front and uh, as I've said I've moved these to my own personal storage system but you see the um, the baggies are individually labeled with um, you know their their value so it's a uh, very functional uh, it's very functional packaging and uh, I'm I'm a pretty big fan of this packaging um, it's not very pretty but it definitely works now let's go on to the spark fun kit and the spark fun kit is basically a folded up piece of cardboard and I've removed I've uh, the packaging was so atrocious that I removed the actual resistors and uh, sort of combined them with the Joe kit the Jonas electronics kit but to give you an idea um, as you can see here, they have these grouped in, f in um, groups of five, and basically what you would have is these uh, strips of resistors, five of them stacked on top of each other, all of different values, uh, different value strips. You have five of them stacked on top of each other, and then they will put them here and staple one corner, only one corner, one corner of these these strips and so you would have you would have this absolutely just flapping literal in the most literal sense flapping around and because you had five different value strips on top of each other uh, you would have to you would have to be very careful and see that you selected the right right strip of trans of our uh, resistors and it was just the most frustrating and awful packaging ever and I hate it. So this uh, SparkFun resistor kit, even though it's very pretty, ooh, it's SparkFun red, you know, it's trademark, trademark colors, uh, you know, everyone loves those. And it's got this, ooh, rainbow, rainbow uh, you know, trans, uh, resistor value, uh, kit, uh, kit, resistor value um, graph here. And uh, it's ha it has all these um, resistors actually drawn out for you. And, um, you know, both of you know, they drew these out and they have this uh, chart here. Those are both uh, pretty good for beginners, but overall the packaging, although uh, pretty, is not very functional. So I don't like that one. Now let's go on to the co actual contents of these kits. Um... The Elenco kit, I believe, has roughly, uh, you can see this says 73 values here, 73 values, while the the um, Joe kit has 86 values, and I believe those missing 13 values are, um, are from the higher end of things. I believe the Elenco stops at around 1 mega ohm, whereas uh, the Joe kit goes all the way up to 10 mega ohms. So uh, that is a minor victory for the Jonos Electronics kit because, um, in my opinion, those uh, higher values aren't as frequently used. So um, it's not really that much big a, a bigger of a deal. However, the most important difference between these is that whereas this kit here, if we look at the information on the back, has 365 values. Uh, while well, this guy has 860 values. So here in this resistor kit, they have five of each value and here they have 10 of each value. And so this five of each value is woefully ins insufficient. I mean, what if you have to light up six LEDs? You're absolutely screwed. Whereas uh, here, I mean, 10 values, um, should suffice for the less common values. So um, uh, this that that's a major victory for Jonas Electronics. And once again, we have this SparkFun kit coming last because it doesn't even have all of the standardized E12 values. It it skips over a whole bunch of them. Look at this. Jumps from zero to straight to 1.5. Where's 1.2? And then 1.5 to 7.4.7. Where's uh, you know? To where's 220? Where's 330? And and then and then it goes straight to 10. This is that's atrocious. So once again, the Spark Fun resistor kit is uh, coming in last. And I really don't like this this thing, uh, especially when Spark Fun is such a large um, company which is largely intended to cater to beginners. Uh, I really don't. I really think they should redesign this kit. I mean it. 
I don't like it at all. Um, there's that. Now, uh, just a quick comment. Um, you'll find these kits typically offered in either half watt or uh, quarter watt format. And that is one of my biggest issues with all of these resistor kits in general. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say uh, look at look at the difference in size between these two. If the camera will focus on it, please, pretty please, pretty please. No, it's not going to. Well, shucks. Well, you can large you can see the uh, difference in size between those two. It is actually absolutely ridiculous. And um, the quarter watt resistor on the left actually looks as if it is further behind the half watt resistor, but it is not. So, um, as you can see there, so it's a uh, it's a huge difference difference in size. So um, I'm going to uh, like I said, I made a mistake in purchasing the half watt resistor kit because they are uh, really big, bulky resistors. Um, but in my opinion, in my opinion, why is it so difficult for um, manufacturers to simply produce a resistor kit with different uh, different power tolerances. Why? It's it would be so, so simple a concept. I mean, in my in my opinion, uh, an ideal resistor kit would be something that contains all of the E12 values from uh, let's say zero ohms to uh, maybe 10, uh, 10 mega ohm, uh, 10 mega ohms. Um, you might be you might cut down on the top of that, but overall that that'd be a pretty good range of and all of those should be quarter watt values. Um, and then you should have maybe half watt values for, for some of the lower values, maybe up to uh, from zero to, uh, let's say, not even a hundred, you and not even a hundred of them, maybe zero to uh, 4.7, uh, 47 ohms maybe, you could have uh, in addition to those, um, those uh, quarter watt resistors you could have uh, some of the, some of uh, half watt resistors of the of that range because beyond that point if you do the calculations let's say you have um, a 1k half watt resistor even if you want to uh, put like let's say at most a quarter of a watt through it because you want to be on the safe side a quarter of a quarter of a watt through a 1k resistor is that's a lot of voltage you're going to be working with, uh, and that it's absolutely implausible that you would ever, anyone would ever be dealing with voltages that great. So, like, these quarter watt resistor kits are completely unnecessary because, I mean, the quarter watt, you only benefit from it being quarter watt within, like, maybe from 1 to, uh, let's say, 50, uh, 47 ohms, and then past that, it is completely redundant. So, uh, I mean, it's not necessary. So, it, it, you only need these uh, quarter watts for lower values. And in addition to that, uh, I think uh, ideal resistor kit should also have some high voltage, perhaps uh, like five, uh, excuse me, not high voltage, high wattage um, resistors. 1 ohm resistors, for example, maybe 5, five uh, watts or 10 watts, because uh, 1 ohm, high, high value 1 ohm resistors are very, actually very useful in designing, um, you know, constant current for high, uh, high, high um, amperage uh, power supplies, for example. Um, those are very useful, actually. So it makes no, it, it makes no sense that you would have an entire resistor kit of one wattage level, one um, wattage tolerance level. It it's completely redundant past you know the first like fifth of the kit. So I really don't like that. Um, enough of that rant. Uh, moving on. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the capacitor kits. And once again. I decided not to spend my money on the Elenco capacitor kit, and the primary reason for that was once again because you can see 21 values, 100 pieces. Uh, if you take a look at the list, um, they have about two capacitors for a lot of those values, so um, not exactly the best deal for your money. Uh, in contrast, the Jonas Electronics kits, 
uh, 33 values, 645 pieces for about uh, like five to seven dollars more, you get you get six times the quantity, and that is absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, other than that, the what I said about the uh, packaging and whatnot, uh, about the resistors, that largely applies here. Uh, you can see here is the Jonas Electronics collection. They're still individually uh, labeled. Oh, uh, you can see you can see these gigantic, um, gigantic electrolytic. Uh, these are four hundred seventy. Mm, 470 uh, microfarads so um, these are uh, this is a pretty good selection oh and uh, just a quick thing that I just noticed uh, now after I filming filming the main body of that video um, what I said about um, having uh, I or I don't know I don't even remember what I said oh gosh um, anyways um, you see here in the capacitor kit it says here um, the values mar marked with the asterisk are common values and have 30 pieces. So um, I must give uh, Jonas Electronics credit for that because um, that is that that shows that they've put m a lot more thought into putting together this kit than I thought it, they had because um, you know they're th it's reasonable to have um, to give more values of the more commonly used um, capacitor values. So um, points them for this and uh, I I do wish that they had done this for their resistor kit as well but um, um, that unfortunately you can't have everything. And um, also keep, keep in mind that SparkFun does not produce a uh, similar kit, does not produce a um, capacitor kit and uh, thank goodness because uh, from what we see from this piece of junk uh, I'd rather it not be on the market. Uh, anyways, moving on to uh, semiconductors, and here's uh, what's funny: the Jonas Electronic Semiconductor Kit has the least amount of uh, physical mass in it, yet its box is this gigantic long box. And um, you know, they could. Here's here's the actual contents for comparison. So not really uh they didn't really need that gigantic box and i can't even fit an entire box on my can in my camera's like, field of view ridiculous anyways um packaging aside um still fairly uh functional packaging you can see um now they have uh, labeled all the individual component names, uh, the num part numbers on these. So that's very handy when you're uh, flipping through this thing. And uh, this semiconductor kit is probably um, some one of the th kits I have more to say. Especially, uh, I'd especially like to talk about Elenco's excuse for a diode kit. They've got 80 pieces in there. Um, and if you're going to buy a diode kit, uh, honestly, many of the parts in the in these kits are largely redundant. Uh, for example, like uh, germanium diodes, uh, Scotty diodes. I don't really see any uses for those. So when you're buying a diode kit, or in the in this case, the uh, Joe has combined. Uh, their transistor kit and uh, diode kit into uh, one semiconductor kit. If you're going to buy one of these diode kits, it's mainly going to be for the Zener diodes because you need a wide range of values for that, right? Well, guess what? Uh, after looking at this thing online, they've got, I believe, in this kit, 5 volt Zeners and 3 volt Zeners, and that's about, that's it. So that is absolutely useless. That is probably, in my in my opinion, the worst of all four of these Elenco kits. And um, no matter what, please do not spend your money on that because it will largely be useless. Um, so aside from that, let's take a look at the Joe Nose Electronics Semiconductor Kit. And you can see they've got these uh, very handy, let's see if I can get it in my... Uh, camera lens. They've got these very handy you know, charts. They have uh, all the Zener values listed here. You can see they've got a far wider range of uh, Zener diode values than um, 
the Elenco kit did. Um, in addition, it has all sorts of other um, sort of useful things. And uh, the thing I love about this is that once again, it triumphs over Elenco in terms of quantity. You can see this has, uh, for example, um, I don't have the actual Elenco uh, diode kit, but if we take a look at the transistor kit, uh, it's got 45 each of those uh, 3906 and 3904s, whereas the Elenco kit only has 14 of each. And um, so let's take a look at the contents of these. Um, Let's see, can I get the semiconductor kit here? Yes. So here's the Joe semiconductor kit, and here's the Elenco. Um, we can see the packaging is once again excellent. Uh, individually labeled baggies. Very nice. Dump that all out. Um, so, one huge issue I have with the Joe Knows Electronics kit is that almost all of their transistors almost all, almost all, are of the 290, 292 package, not 292, but TO92 package. And what does that tell you immediately about their wide selection of uh, transistors? Well, none of them are intended to handle power. So um, if you're building, for example, a power supply, uh, this entire this entire kit is mo is going to be mostly useless to you. I mean, the all of the components. Look at this. All of them are 292 packaging. So this is one the one place, in my opinion, where the Elenco kits really shine, and that is their transistor selection. Because uh, let's take a look here. Uh, where is it? Look at these. Look at these behemoths. Um, these are two and. Uh, 3055s, these giant radiator um, 15 amp transistors, absolutely fantastic. Uh, what else? They've got some. Uh, they've got some uh, tip tip 122s packaging. Um, what am I talking about? Tip 122. Um, oh boy, two uh, two 220. Ah, brain fart. Uh, they've have they have two 220 packagings. Packaging. So um, they have a much greater selection of power components, which is um, much more practical. So um, while the Joe Knows Electronics selection of uh, semiconductors looks as if they simply took the cheapest MOSFET and the cheapest JFET and the cheapest Darlington pair transistor and the cheapest of every every category, um, the the Elenco kit actually looks like it has quite a bit of thought going into it. For example, uh, you will note that in their PNP and NPN transistor selections, they actually have um, they actually have complementary pairs. For example, the two um, and three nine oh three nine oh four and the three nine oh six complementary complementary pair, as well as the two 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 and the two nine oh seven. Uh, I believe that is another complementary pair. I am not certain of that. And I am certain that the uh, 8050 and the 8550 are complementary pairs as well. So um, they, they've obviously put a reasonably good deal of thought into making this one. So uh, that is one place where I do have to compliment Elenco. Um, so overall, overall um, the Elenco transistor kit has a... Uh, more practical range of components compared to the Joe Knows Electronics kit, where um, if you're looking for a generic MOSFET, not to do any heavy duty work, but just some light, you know, um, no high frequency switching or anything. If you're if you're looking for that, uh, just for tinkering, uh, the Joe Knows Electronics kit may suffice. But otherwise, I would highly recommend um, you pick up both kits because. In my opinion, the Elenco kit does a great job of complementing the uh, Jonas Electronics kit, and the phone is ringing, excuse that. So overall, I'd say if you're a beginner uh, trying to get into electronics, um, my recommendation would, to you would to be get the Jonas Electronics Semiconductor Kit for a fantastic uh, variety of tinkering transistors as well as a great assortment of uh, Zener diodes. 
get the uh, quarter watt Jonos Electronics uh, resistor kit, quarter watt, not half watt, um, get one of these, and to complement that, uh, get a handful of um, the decades, by that I mean 1, 10, uh, 100, etc, uh, because those are commonly used, uh, so get one of, them, one of these as well, and Finally, uh, get one of these Jonos Electronics capacitor kits because that's also a very nice variety of capacitors. And to top off, top it all off, and uh, complement the semiconductor kit, get this, um, get one of these Alenco transistor kits. Um, and other than that, I'd say um, avoid the other Alenco kits because they don't have that nice of a uh, variety or a uh, assortment. And definitely avoid this piece of crap from Sparkfund. It's useless. Anyways, that's about it.